I believe by 90 percent. This is the 1952 Nationals in Grand Prairie, Texas. This is Dave Johnson, Dick Johnson's brother from Colorado. He used to run Black Forest, a commercial glider operation there. And that's a double bubble flat topped LK. This is the RJ-5, Dick at the nose, his crew behind, I believe his wife Alice on the other side. They had just come back from Spain from the Internationals. That's EJ keeping score at the Nationals. There's the RJ-5 getting put together. That's Dick at the right, just took his dark glasses off. This is the little doggy in the hangar. We had just put a new canopy on it, thanks to a Bell helicopter bubble. Thank you, Del Reed. Watch what comes off behind the Stearman tow plane. That's the Horton 4 flying wing. Rudy Opitz was flying it. it. Caused quite a bit of commotion at the meet. This is pilots meeting inside the hangar. Very poor lighting. That's little Rudy down in the lower right, just standing up, talking about his flight of the day before. Bill Ivins in front of him, looking up at him. Hal Cronkite was contest director, and Ted Lang is sitting down up at the desk. He was the weatherman. That's Wally on the right, his mother from uh, Renton, Washington, and myself. And here we are out on the field looking at the Horton wing. There's Rudy getting ready to lie down in it. He's a little short guy, and he fits it beautifully. Wally would have loved to have flown it, but he was tall enough that by the time he lay down and got his knees tucked up under him, they couldn't get the hatch down over him. There he is in it, but they couldn't put the hatch on him. And that's Willie Elias, Rudy's crew, a fine, fine German guy, one of the best beer drinkers you'll ever find. A heck of a good crew. Marvin Frost on the left from Dayton, Ohio. And that's a friend of Wally's and mine from Fort Worth in the middle there. I think he's asking for iced tea. Hmm. And this picture was taken just to show what a neat compact road rig the little doggy makes on a trailer. It's really easy to handle. That's Pat Malloy from Mississippi and he's 123. We're winch towing now. That's Del Reed with the paddles and that's the Club TG3. I don't know who's flying it. Can't tell. That's the Club TG2 taken off. Ken Jacobs and Del Reed in the beautiful TG2 that Ken and Del Lewis built up. That was Dave McNay with the paddles. That was a very, very nicely refinished TG2. That's Bryce King and the Pratt Reed. Now we're at Elsinore. Wally and I brought the little doggie out to the Nationals in 1954 to the Elsinore, California airport where the Nationals were held. You may recognize some people in the crowd. Backstroms will show up way back there holding up a map. That's Johnny Duncan in the foreground with a white cap on. There's Al holding up a map back there. And quite a few people from other parts of the country than Texas and California. Larry Garline from Pennsylvania. This is Irv Prue's Jenny May, Lyle Maxey flying it. 
and his wings flex like a toothpick. This is the best shot we got of Wally. And that's Johnny Duncan who came to crew for us. He did work that day because his picture was being taken. The rest of the time he found some females to chase and was not the best of crew. And it was hot, hot, hot. Oh, it was hot there. We wrapped, put bath towels into crushed ice, packed them before takeoff, and would put them on the pilot's heads or put a load of ice in their lap. That's Clarence C. and the original first 126. He was the test pilot for Swizers and brought the ship out from Elmira, New York. That's Paul Bickle in his 123, his crew on the left with a load of ice in the bath towel. He's taken it aboard. The top of a 2,000 foot tow, those towels were bone dry. This fellow was just in the crowd and hung around the Southern California glider groups. Dick Johnson with his stepfather getting into the RJ. He put some old yellow house paint on it. And that was his wife on the left. That's Ray Parker in Tiny Mike. 